Yo, 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 it's your boy, Big Mike Raider, and we're here at day 13 for the 30 days, 30 prospects. Where today we're covering University of Connecticut offensive guard Christian Haynes. Guys, let's jump into it. But have they ever seen another like me living giant type step in your house above my head on when you're silly climbed out of the bottomless pit to let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine dive off my lips no longer hold on I'm tired of applying the grip forget the fancy shiny rappers I'm supplying the gifts I feel it's only right to tell you that I'm going hey what's going on it's your boy Big Mike Raider writer and contributor for Planet Raiders and today we're covering Christian Haynes University of Connecticut guard Guys, this dude is is a good zone blocker, a guy that can move well laterally, can pull, can do the trap block. Um, he he his run blocking is is exceptional. Um, you know, he he shows uh great knowledge and 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 technique for the game. Um his football IQ is is up there. This guy um is you know, he started from the bottom. He, he was a two-star athlete coming out of high school and moved his way up to become a two-time three, third-team All-American. And, you know, he, he seems to be climbing up the ranks at this point, um, that steady climb, continuing to sharpen his skills. Um, these are the type of guys you want. Uh, as far as fit goes, he's an absolute fit for what the Raiders are trying to do. Now, you guys know that the Raiders are in need of a right guard. And this guy has played right guard. He does uh, his specialty, the zone blocking, zone run blocking scheme. Uh, he does that very well. Um, to me, it seems like a perfect fit. Um, now, as far as uh, some of his weaknesses that he does bring to the table, unfortunately, is uh, his knee bend. Um, he doesn't anchor down the way you want from a, a, a guard, right? He, uh, he kind of stands up a little bit high pad level. Um, when it comes to blocking, uh, to, to pass blocking. But these are things that he can absolutely refine. Um, those aren't big uh, uh, concerns for me, or it shouldn't be a big concern for anybody. Now, um, football intelligence, I already told you guys about that one. Let's kind of go back to some of the strengths, the football intelligence. Um, he's a student of the game. I mean, you kind of have to be a student of the game and mind your technique. Um, if you're starting at a um, as a two star athlete and, and continuing to sharpen those skills and getting better. Now, he had the prototypical frame to boot. So that helps him in his process. Right. Uh, he's six two, three hundred and thirteen pounds. Um, prototypical size for a guard. <clears throat> you want to see him put a little bit more weight weight on as far as muscle goes um, at the guard position. But the guy can move people already. Great strength, great hands. Um, this guy pretty much uh, is is a good fit for the Raiders. But guys, what do you guys think about Christian Haynes? How do you feel about his strengths and weaknesses? Um, are you guys concerned with the the high pad level? Me personally, um, I I'm not. Uh, I think he can fix that. At six two, he can kind of get away with kind of being a little bit higher than most people. Um, and maybe that's the reason why he does so. Uh, but guys, let's jump in to his draft, um, uh, where he's uh projected to be picked. <clears throat> Shout out to NFLDraftBuzz.com. Um, they have him ranging from 54 um, um on, on the chart that they have. NBC Sports has him um uh projected at 54 overall. Uh, NFL.com has him at 55. Um, and then somewhat in the middle, you got the athletic NFL draft buzz and PFF got them 62 and uh, 64 respectively. And uh, PFN uh, has them as high as 78. Uh, me personally, um, we've seen this from, you know, in previous years. We saw this last year with a Juice Scruggs. If you guys remember Juice Scruggs, uh, this was a guy who uh, was a projected six round guy and he got picked in the early second round by the Texans. And it seemed to be a good fit for them. Um, for the Raiders, this is a good fit for them. If he's still available in the second round, by the time we pick at 44 overall, I mean, don't be surprised to see the Raiders, you know, make a move to bolster that offensive line and, and pick um, um, 
a, a, an immediate possible immediate starter at the guard position with Christian Haynes. He can zone block. That's exactly what the the, the scheme that we're doing. Um, pulling, uh, great, uh, you know, above average footwork, above average agility, um, strong, um, can pull. It, this is a guy who, who can fit perfectly at the right guard position and what we're doing. So if we have to, according to this chart, reach just a little bit to get the guy that we want. Um, and, and, and of course, you know, you're going to have to do your, your, you know, your research, knock on doors and see where people have Christian Haynes listed um, and, and, and make a move accordingly. But guys, what do you think about the Raiders possibly picking Christian Haynes at number 44 overall? I think it would be a sound move. I think it would be the, a smart move. And especially if, if you're, you know, 100%, I wouldn't say 100%, but if you're, you know, pretty confident that Thayer Munford at tackle is somebody that you can roll with. And, you know, we do get the quarterback. We locate the quarterback in the first round. Um, getting a, a guard to fill that that spot that is probably one of our biggest weaknesses on this team would be very smart. And I think Christian Haynes would fit that mold perfectly. But, guys, I want to hear what you think about it. Let me know Christian Haynes, number 44 overall uh, with the Raiders. What do you think about that one? But guys, let's jump in to PFF grades, right? We're going to talk about PFF grade. Um, he, well, let's get to some of the pros and cons before we get into the grade. Um, his pros makes for a great puller and zone blocker. We already mentioned that. Overall athleticism is above average. First step is better than top speed. So that first initial explosive step, um, he's getting there before uh, you're getting there, basically. And 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 sometimes that's the, the the name of the game right be there first get your hands on somebody first and and that's how most of the time you'll win the battle in the trenches um consistent and strong hand placement to control and throw defenders so you know that's that's technique that's uh owning your craft and 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 being a strong uh football iq guy and knowing you know where to put the hands and um you know using leverage and, and and things like that. So uh, this is what you're getting from uh, Christian Haynes. Uh, properly distributed weight, good mass in the lower half. So there you go. Prototypical size, prototypical build frame, things like that. Uh, this is this is uh, you know um, a plus for uh, Christian Haynes. Ideal build for an interior lineman, short in height for leverage, but above average weight and arm length. So there you go. Arm arm length is an issue and you know, six two at guard is perfect. You you want somebody that can get down underneath the pads of a, of a D tackle, a big D tackle, and things like that. And even the smaller ones that are probably around six foot six one these days, um, you know, kind of line up uh, pad for pad basically, and 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 not have to you know worry too much about pad level, you know, so, so to speak. So those are the pros from uh, Christian Haynes. Some of the cons. Um, not nearly as effective when blocking up the middle in man gap than as a puller or on zone blocking plays. So, you know, that that's perfect for us right there. We're a zone blocking team um, and we're going to need uh, we're going to need a fit for somebody who can zone block. And, you know, his his cons are, you know, man gap. Um, he's not nearly as effective. So that's perfect for us. It, it just shows that he's a good fit and that's a con for other teams, but it for us, it's a it's a good fit. Um, uh, doesn't sit in pass protection like he needs to. That's one of the biggest concerns for me. Um, sitting in pass protection um, and, and and moving the feet and having a good base and balance. That's that's what we need to uh, work on. And then lastly, balance can be an issue. So those are things that need to be worked on. Um, but there's no perfect prospect, and and I think he'll do just fine. I think he'll fit in and be a perfect addition for the Las Vegas Raiders if uh, they pick him at number 44 overall. In review from PFF, this is what PFF has to say about him. Haynes showed in his tape and at the Senior Bowl that he has starting potential measurables and traits at guard in the NFL. His best work comes on the move, which would bode well for his own blocking scheme and as a puller for man gap schemes. So there you go. Uh, that's Christian Haynes in a nutshell. What do you guys think about him? Let me know. 
how you feel about Christian Haynes and his whole body of work, his strengths and weaknesses, and uh, the possibility of the Raiders picking him up 44. I want to hear about it. I want to hear what you guys think about it. But, guys, let's jump into this quick but effective film breakdown. I'm going to pull it up right now. Um, I'm not going to be too long-winded like I usually am. We're going to try to keep this thing under 20 minutes, but I'm not going to promise you guys that. But here we go. This is at the Senior Bowl, guys, and we're looking at Christian uh, Haynes. He's in, he's in white. He's going against a, uh, a tackle from LSU. And you probably have seen this uh, this bit of film uh, floating around, um, you know, throughout, you know, X and, 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 and social media. Uh, this is Christian Haynes right here in a nutshell. Getting under defensive lineman's skin. Here we go. Ball snap. So, you know, that's some of the cons that we're looking at with Christian Haynes, he's he's a little bit high. He, he's losing the 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 battle uh, as far as pad level goes. And keep in mind that this guy's six two. So, you know, most of these D tackles are probably around six two and above. So, you have to match your pad level with him. That's that's kind of what you're looking at. You want him to lower the pad level just a little bit, but he recovers from this. And see what happens right here. Getting under defensive lineman's skin right there. Got him. Got him all frustrated and flustered right here. There you go. A mean streak. That's what you're getting from a Christian Haynes, uh, a guy that just really pisses off um, uh, defensive tackles. And, and that's exactly what you want to see. Now, pass protection, he could work on getting lower. But the fact that he brings a mean streak and the fact that he can get under defensive tackle – Defensive uh, lineman skin is what I like from my lineman, uh, a villain up front. So that's – that's I wanted to point that out, just the fact that he's really, like, making people upset that way. Here's another one from the senior bowl right here. Uh, we'll let this one ride out. So there you go. So he's – uh to me, I think he he's showing good balance. I would say a little bit uh, – his body's a little bit uh uh his top half is a little bit uh it's a little bit forward right like he he could sit back just a little bit um but the pad level is 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 matching up with this guy and um which is fine uh you want him to hold ground just a little bit you want him to anchor down uh maybe a yard maybe two yards um uh uh you know on the line of scrimmage forward right that He's he's anchoring down a little bit too far back, but he's he's holding his block, and uh, that's one thing that he must work on is the, that that pass rushing, uh, uh, that pass blocking, sorry, um, uh, technique. Um, and if he can do that, he's going to be just fine, right? The fact that it, there you go, anchors down, and then he finishes strong right there, throws him to the ground. Good good rep from uh from Christian Haynes. Now we're looking at number sixty four. 64 in blue. He's our right guard right here. And just watch him kind of just wash down this defensive tackle um, on this play. Um, he, he makes the play right here. He just pretty much washes him down and does a great job and, and good hand placement, good uh, feet, and um, just overall good technique right here. Let's let's ride it out. There you go. And, and he rode him all the way down to almost the sideline. Uh, great play right there. Great rep from uh, Christian Haynes. Uh, that's what you want to see from your guard, a mean streak, a guy that's going to be able to wash people down if he needs to. And and just delivering a, a giant lane for his running back for him to take off right there. So that was initiated by him. Good play. So now we're looking at 64 right guard again. Uh, immediate contact. Everybody is um, uh, they're doing a zone right uh, so everybody's kind of slanting and, and going to the right. But number 64 has immediate contact and uh, holds his own right here. Holds his own. So right there, re recovers and gets into a good position to seal that guy in a, um, and block very well right there. So he was able to, like, really <clears> – <throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me – able to recover from having a guy pretty much – on him right away at the point of the snap and and move his feet 
and create a lane for his running back. So <clears throat> good recovery, good feet from Christian Haynes. And let's see how it keeps riding out. And there you go. He goes, uh, running back goes backside because everybody seems to be over pursuing. But there's just the fact that Christian Haynes can absolutely kind of recover from, you know, having a guy like kind of right on him and, and having that good footwork is, is a testament to his, his, uh, his athleticism and a testament to his football IQ as well. So good, good rep from Christian Haynes right there. So we're looking at 64 right guard once again. He's on the right-hand side of the screen. He has a defensive tackle. Uh, uh, actually, you could say defensive end. This looks like a 3-4 that they're running. So it's probably like another D tackle or maybe like a DN uh, type on his outside shade of his shoulder. Um, but let's ride this one out. Let's see. So he goes down. He stays on his block, maintains his block. And now he has his guy locked up. Good positioning right here. Um you know, the fact that he was able to, you know, slant to that left and move his feet well and seal this guy off um, is, is excellent. He, he does an excellent job with that. That was and, and like I said, it's not necessarily about the big hit every time. It's about him being uh, a, a sound guard and um, being fundamentally sound and, and just, you know, you know, foot placement, hand placement is on point. That's that's really what matters right there. And and he finishes off, throws the guy to the ground. So excellent play right there. So you got number 64 once again, um, right guard. And you see him right there, brace it, about to about to make the make contact right here. And and let's check it out. And there you go. Another washout. Washes this guy down and pretty much makes this play. Leaves a giant hole for number 26. And excellent right there. Excellent. That's what you want to see from your guard. Let's rewind it just a little bit just to show you what's going on. Um, just a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There you, uh, there you go. So there you go. Makes contact with his guy and drags him down right there. As you can see right at the center of the screen. Um, Pat level still a little bit too high, guys, but uh, it's effective, and he's pushing this guy uh, away from the play and, and leaving a huge, huge lane for his running back to go downfield. So excellent play from number 64. Uh, that's what you're getting from him right there in a nutshell. So there we go. Here we go. This time he's going to be – sorry, let's rewind just a little bit. I got a little bit uh, – there you go. So he is our right guard. Uh, he's going to be on our left-hand side of the screen. Number eight is right directly over him. And let's see how he handles number eight in white. Let's see. There you go. Perfect timing with the with the, the screen right here. And it's not necessarily about the big hit in the situation, guys. It's about um, timing right here and hand placement and footwork and being at the right place and being at the place he's supposed to be. Uh, and, and we'll show it right here, right there. There you go. Number 64 is on number uh, in white, the, the number. It looks like five, but it could be a five and another number after that. But at the right place at the right time, at the spot where he's supposed to be um, sealing this guy off, preventing him from making a play, um, that's just timing and and – and good footwork and good IQ from him, good awareness. Um, and the knee bend, once again, guys, that's what we got to work on. We want him to get a little bit lower, but he's very effective in what he does. He's powerful, um, and, and he has a good base for a guard. So that that's what you're getting from um, – and, and, hey, makes the play uh, – pretty much makes, you know, that play happen. So uh, we got number 64 on our left-hand side of the screen. And this is some of his recognition of stunts in uh in a, in a blocking situation, um, uh, in pass blocking situation. Sorry. So we're gonna check this one out. So pushes number thirteen into a center, uh, giving giving his buddy some help and throwing him into the number thirteen into the scrum basically, and recognizing that number ninety five is coming on that stunt right there, and and keeps good base. You see that his, his shoulders are slightly turned, but his legs are still straight. Um, 
so it's easily for him to recover um, on, on this back end of a stunt right here. And you'll see it right here. Makes good recovery. Now, you want them hands to be a little bit. The, the hand placement is a little bit uh, iffy. He could have been called for a holding penalty right there. It's on the back of his shoulder. Um, you, you definitely want him to get more inside right there. But he still does a good job of recognizing the stunt and keeps him anchored up. Uh, he got away with a holding penalty on that one. But, guys, that is Christian Haynes in a nutshell. A sound blocker in the zone scheme. Um, a, a great puller. Um, you can use him on screens, which we, you know, the Raiders haven't been able to run the screen effectively in years. Um, he's a guy that can go out there and, and get to the second level and, 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 and deliver a shot and, and get there and be at the right position at the right time. Guys, what do you think about Christian Haynes in a nutshell? A sound right guard, a perfect fit for the Raiders. Um, if he's around and, you know, you 100%, you know, believe that Thayer Mumford at tackle is your guy at tackle so you don't have to worry about grabbing a tackle until maybe in the later rounds and you located your quarterback in the first round, maybe Christian Haynes is a guy to, to, to bolster this offensive line. But you guys let me know what you think about it. But that is day 13 of the 30 Days 30 Prospects. I'm your boy, Big Mike Raider. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Have they ever seen another like me living giant type Step in your house above my head on your ceiling Climbed out of the bottomless pit To let the truth slip and slide off my tongue And swine dive off my lips No longer hold on, I'm tired of applying the grip Forget the fancy shiny rappers, I'm supplying the gifts 